Hey guys, Charge Go here. We're back with another video. I know it's been a while, I'm sorry about that, but we're back and that's all that matters. This video is going to address the charging behavior that I've been following with my 2021 LFP car, the new LFP chemistry that was introduced in September of last year in North America, as opposed to the NCA battery that you'll see on this Model 3 Performance. Have I seen degradation on this vehicle after 5,500 miles? As we know, degradation is most prominent in the first 10, 15, 20,000 miles of EV driving. And so I wanted to discuss degradation on LFP cars versus NCA cars and my charging behavior, as you guys have requested in a lot of my videos. So let's get into this video. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know all the regular YouTube stuff. And let's get into this video. Hey guys, I really hope it's not too dark. I'm just trying to make this video pretty quickly because I've been getting tons of comments about LFP batteries. How do you charge your LFP battery? What does the degradation look like on the LFP battery? My charging behavior initially was to charge 100% whenever I could. As you guys know, Tesla recommends charging to 100% at least once a week. These LFP batteries prefer a higher state of charge, and so that's the procedure I've been following. But not having a home charger, it was difficult to charge every single day initially. So what I would do, I would charge to 100%. I wouldn't really let the battery go below 20%. We know typically batteries like to be between 20 and 80%. So with that said, you know, sometimes I did go to 10%, 5%, but I charge it up immediately. Recently, I've had the privilege of having a charger at work. So as you guys can see here, I've been charging to 100% pretty much three, four, five times a week, which is super convenient. And I've put about 5,500 miles on this vehicle. Now, in terms of degradation, how much range have I lost? As you guys can see in this clip, I started off with about 253 miles on this car when I had first got it, and this was in the summertime. Now we're in the wintertime in Los Angeles, so it can get in the 60s, maybe in the 50s, so that'll definitely affect the range that you get, you know, cold, these batteries don't like the cold weather and whatnot. So with that said, right, I also did take the aero caps off of my vehicle, and that will also nick the range a bit so when i took the aero caps off the range effectively went from about 253 miles on a full charge to 250 ish and now as you can see i get about 248 miles on a full charge and this is in the winter time right after about 5500 miles so i personally think this car has experienced absolutely no degradation no noticeable degradation because the extra two miles i would attribute to you know driving conditions the weather stuff like that i am really 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 happy with this battery pack if you guys have an lfp car charge it to 100 percent as much as you can try not to leave it at a very low state of charge for a long period of time and just enjoy the car you know this battery chemistry in the ev realm is advancing very quickly it's super exciting and again not much degradation. I'll definitely give an update in another five, ten thousand miles for those who are interested, but get yourself an LFP car and really enjoy it. That's it for this video, guys. If you guys liked it, if you guys didn't like it, give us some feedback. We're slowly growing. A subscription would be really, really cool, but uh, have a great day, guys. We'll see you in the next one.